Oh no, Vivi's doing it. He's not supposed to play in Sin. Alright, so these are two characters that hit very hard. Uh, they they kind of scare me a lot, actually. But Vivi already getting some pretty good damage, already racking up about 100% in the first 30 seconds. Yes, Wake Quadruple 7. Stock Taker is from Long Island, New York. Okay, so, uh, while well, Vivi got that early percent, he really hasn't racked on too much, and uh, Redline has already caught up all the way and passing. Uh, Vivi now at 160%. Is he going to get the kill before Vivi? Maybe. Yeah, he does. Uh, Vivi going for an ill-advised uh, grab, trying to grab his ledge get up, uh, but he went for a jump and didn't react accordingly. So eat that back air. Alright, Vivi's gonna try and minimize taking any sort of damage just so he can even out the game onto the second stock. Alright, I like the idea of like going for the armor. I'm pretty sure he uh, meant to go the other way, but you know, whatever. He didn't eat too much damage for that, he didn't really get punished. Uh, right now, uh, Vivi's just kind of looking for the kill, and Red Nine is just like going for pokes, and it's really working out for him. Already stacking on 70 damage. Uh, Alright. That's it. All right. That's up throw, right? Because, you know, I know he's a wrestler, so some things have to do with him, like, going down, but regardless. All right. So, 70 damage. While that is, like, a... That's a pretty all right lead. Uh, this is ultimate, so you just need to get a few good hits at early percent, and you'll be racking massive damage and linking it up uh, pretty quickly. And as we can see, uh, Vivi's 82. Oh, my God. And now at passing red lines, giving him seven, uh, 90 damage. Tried to gimp him with a runoff Nair, but... Not gonna work out. I like that he went for the, I don't know what that move is called. That's, it's side B, right? So he went for the side B, but then he didn't try to knock him cross stage because he wanted to keep him over there. So I like that. So then he could do it the other direction and then actually almost kill him for it. And here we are again, just like the first stock, kind of dead even. Uh, can VV change the progression of the stocks by taking this kill first? He does. Now, uh, Redline coming from behind, having to even up those stocks, but having a much easier time than VV uh, from first stock to second, uh, evening up the second stock to third. So now, double zero percent, last stock, still game one. Uh, who's going to take this game one, get that counter pick advantage for possible game three? Possible. Ooh. Vivi trying to go in kind of deep to just like seal out that stock immediately, but not going to work out. Uh, Redline going in to get a bait and then runs out, gets a punish. Uh, tries to seal it out with a eruption. That's Ike or something. Anyway, neutral B. Uh, but gets hit by the up B. Both guys are like taking it like somewhat cautiously and they're just going for like the safe pokes, which I kind of. Uh, respect, honestly. Oh, but Vivi extending just a little bit too much. Red line going to be taking game one. Leaning all the way into the tablet. All the way in. All right, he's going to be getting rid of Lilat and Kalos. Okay, so let's see what... Uh, all right, going back to PS2. Uh, pretty understandable, honestly. Oh my god, the cheer, the Merry Christmas is gone, the hat is off, but he's still sticking to Incineroar. Uh, kind of surprised, honestly, but let's see what he's got, what he's going to change. 
Uh, Vivi, a pretty, pretty solid player. Uh, been kind of like, uh, always like been the, like a gatekeeper, but been on the up and up from that status uh, recently. So, uh, if he's sticking with it, you know he's got a game plan. Either that or, you know, it, uh, Holiday Cat. Let's go Holiday Cat. Hey, Nick. Okay, so... Uh, VV getting a pretty early stock. Uh, already much better progression from the first set, first match. What did he do? He got a back throw. Ooh, yeah, he didn't have a jump and hit him with that forward air. Yep. Looking good for him now. But he's going to have to get on some extra damage uh, to really solidify this lead here. Uh, the nice thing is that now he's playing from a lead. Ooh, but still going to overextend just a little bit. Redline doing a really good job of, like, uh, weaving in and weaving out, not really committing to any buttons, so that when you commit to a button, you get that F smash. And just like that, on even stocks once again. Now, like I said before, 70 damage, like that is a lead, but you know, if you lose uh, neutral in just the right way, then like they can build up quite a lot of damage. And it can even up really quickly. These are scary characters, but Vivi not going to give them that chance and actually sealing out that entire left, uh, that stock from the left side. Never giving a chance to get back on stage. Uh, only taking 7 damage on his second stock. Now we have Vivi with a basic full stock lead. Looking really good for him. I think he got a lot of data from game 1. And just like the way that he was extending and saw how he punished him. And just kind of uh, took that into account. And yeah, going to get that down air. Oh my god. Okay, Vivi. Lordy. Alright, so Vivi is going to get rid of... Let's see... Smashville and Town and City. So, Redline, where are we going? All right, we're going to FD. Pretty understandable. I feel that. Uh, I can see like going FD is pretty okay for Roy, just because like. You're gonna get those like those F tilt, uh, those resets like uh, for. Oh, never mind. He's switching characters. I was gonna say like those uh, those tech chases, but whatever. Uh, Redline gonna be going Richter for game three. Wow. So he just like fully absorbed the entire holy water with his revenge. That's kind of nuts, though. The fire didn't stay? I'm actually kind of surprised, honestly. Alright, so Vivi just kind of staying on stage, keeping center, and now just uh, trying to push Vivi out. I said Vivi, I push Redline out. But Redline uh, not going out without a fight here. Uh, kind of taking center, but kind of gave it up. Uh, he's trying to really just kind of whiff bait punish. Uh, VV by going in and then just trying to run out, but you don't want to go too far out because then you just give up stage control. All right, 150 damage uh, on by VV, and that Nair gonna take him out. Now I'm not so not so sure what kind of like heavy damage combo Richter can really do without like some extreme setup. I don't think we're gonna see something like that. So this is gonna be a pretty comfortable lead for VV right now. And, like, he's still staying center stage, not going to be overextending. But that's what Richter wants you to do. He's not going off stage. He's just trying to throw out those hits and saying, like, hey, uh, right now I have positional advantage. I'll do, I'll take it. It's fine. Gonna re uh, he got a revenge earlier and then got the, uh, I don't know what the side view is called, but, yeah, the side view. Yeah, not going to be able to come back from that. Sent too far away. Uh, he may have lost his jump. And now we have three socks to one. Uh, complete turnaround from game one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe just keeping up what he was doing right uh, game two. Someone in the chat, please tell me what his side B is called. I could call it Ringer. Ooh, I like that uh, up B. I, well, at least I like the idea about it, but good stuff by Redline actually punishing it. Alright, so Redline uh, taking out Vivi's first stock. Uh, you see that he's 
doing a lot more just like dancing around him. I like that, but it's not going to work out. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, it kind of went too deep. 